hello and welcome to the channel. The DJI Neo and the DJI Fly app have both had updates in the first week of November. Now one of the really important updates for me was an increase in speed for the follow mode. If you'd have seen my previous video the Neo wasn't quite keeping up with me on my e-scooter and having seen the fact that there was a, an update I really wanted to test out whether this little drone could actually keep up with me and whether the updates had in fact increased the speed to the 19 miles an hour that is the top speed of my e-scooter. So really looking forward to testing this out. I hope you enjoy the video. Okay, so this is the first of two tests in this video for the DJI Neo. The mode of course in follow, the distance for the drone is far and the height is set to high. Travelling here down a seldomly used road and the drone is already keeping up really nicely, travelling probably at around 17 or 18 miles an hour and I've switched on the screen recording here and you will see that around me on the screen recording is a green box that's the app tracking me and that's of course telling the drone where to travel. Now I'm traveling here up a slight gradient so not as quickly as in sort of that 19 mile an hour top speed probably traveling at around 12 13 miles an hour here but as soon as i hit the top of this gradient then as you can see here starting to gain pace and achieve this e-scooter's top speed of 19 miles an hour the neo is keeping up really easily at this speed not lagging behind whatsoever slowing down here just slightly to go through where the road is blocked and back up to full speed again 90 miles an hour and the neo is keeping up really easily again no difficulties whatsoever So moving on now to the second test, I wanted to do this in a slightly more sort of curved environment in terms of the roads rather than that long straight road. So again, screen recording on here and traveling through some of these curved roads in this really nice residential area. At full speed here and once again the Neo is keeping up so much more capably than in the original firmware and following me really accurately around these curves really impressive so I'm just going to slow down here to go through this gated section and on to the main road here. This road leads down to a hospital near to where we live. I wanted to come down this road because I know it's got a slight downhill gradient this time and I would be travelling more like 21, 22 miles per hour rather than the 19 miles an hour on a flat surface. And I'm moving away from the Neo, it's still tracking me, still keeping me nicely in the centre of the frame, but just pulling away. And as I slow down, as I get closer to the hospital, 
the Neo starts to gain on me again. Breaking here to do a left to get onto the footpath. What I think is really impressive is just how accurately the Neo slowed and tracked me around that corner. I'm going to do a left here. And this is a temporary helicopter landing pad for the hospital. This is why this path sort of goes out into the middle of nowhere. And again, the Neo tracks me really accurately around those two corners as I come to a standstill here. Absolutely excellent. So there you go, what a difference. The DJI Neo was so much more capable in tracking and following me at my Avo Pro ES80's top speed of 19 miles an hour. It's great that DJI have been responding to customer feedback and ensuring that we have the best experience with these fantastic products. As always, please like the video, it would help the algorithm so much please subscribe to the channel and if you feel able to click on some of the affiliate links it would help my channel so much but any of the products will not cost you a single penny more and i really look forward to seeing you in the next one